Today, I want to talk about your balance. Of course, in ballet, the whole, most of the time we're talking about is creating and searching the elusive thing called the balance. However, in ballet, we never do balance this way. Across the wire, you know, like this. This is not all type of balance. In ballet, all balance is created by oppositional support. One part of your body go to that way, the other part go to oppositional way to create that counterbalance. Yeah? So we have you ever seen a ballerina on stage doing this? Never, right? So it is a technique. It is not a luck. So therefore, today I want to talk about very basic body placement, where the balance coming from. In, this is how I wanted to explain. Fifth position is fantastic. I feel very secure. Yeah, fifth position because I cross like this. Very secure. Once, one time I was on stage, this ballet starts in first position like this. The curtain's down. I was terrified, absolutely terrified, because I know if somebody touched me with a little push, I fall. First, I fall. I have no replication whatsoever. Now, how about if we shift, let's say first position, if I'm going to do a tendu to the side, I have to shift my weight to my supporting side. How much is the most important aspect of this question? How much? Is it as, as little as I can, as long as I get my leg out? No, that's not enough because yes, you got your leg out, but this leg is out there still bearing weight. Therefore, this leg is not free. Look how much I shift my weight. It has to be 100% on the ball of that foot, not on the heel. It has to be on the ball of that foot. So my leg goes out, let's say, to a 45 degrees, like this. If teacher, if I'm asking you to lift your heel a little bit, you should be doing this, no problem. Now, you are on your leg. So you can do a promenade like this. Because my weight is on the ball of my foot. My heel doesn't bear weight. If your weight is on the heel, there's no way you can do this. That's why I was so vulnerable in my first position because my weight is on the heel of both feet. I don't know where I was. I didn't know where I was. I wanted to be on one leg or on the other. And the fifth position because it crossed the distribution of my weight is much more concentrated. That's why I feel balance in fifth position. Now watch, if I do fondue, fondue to the side, right away, coup de pied, I don't go down directly because if you do this, you're not on your leg. You have to shift your weight to the ball of that foot. This knee has to be over the toes. This is your ultimate gauge. If you plie, your knee is not over the toes, you are not on your leg. Your knee has to be over your toes. Now, I am free. I have the freedom. If I shift my weight to the center just by an inch, I'm vulnerable. I have no control. I'm talking about an inch of differences. Please keep that in mind when you're doing your ballet practices, okay? One leg retire. Look at where my hip is. Completely vertical in relationship with my toes. I'm on my leg, heel free. If I'm in the center, no, no control. An inch. Of differences create freedom in your dance. I hope this helps. Thank you.